Hi, Gigi with today's thought. You may have noticed that there was no video last Friday. I try to do a video five days a week, Monday through Friday, but sometimes, you know, things come up. I had a problem with my car, a short story, took it into the dealership, and I, I, this was on Thursday when I would have recorded Friday's video, and there was a problem with the car. I won't bore you with the, the, the gory details, but uh, they I was there for several more hours waiting them for them to fix the car and so I couldn't record a video. I didn't have time. So anyways, uh, I hope you don't didn't feel too deprived. Here I am again back with a, a repaired car and a new thought and I want to talk about well, I'm going to, let me tout a website. I'm going to be quoting, showing you an article from a website. Uh, 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 it, it's, a, you know, a news media. Well, it's actually satire, okay? It's not legitimate news. But sometimes they, they come right to the point, and their satire is better than the actual news. They, they have these fake headlines. It's called the Babylon Bee, if you've never heard of it. The Babylon Bee, and uh, I'm putting the, the uh, address uh, right there you can see it in the caption down there and uh, I I highly recommend it or at least do what I do get on the the mailing list to get the daily updates in your inbox so we're going to start with that but it's the the Democrats the, the evidence keeps piling up about the Biden uh, the Biden crime family the Biden corruption there is by now there, there can't be any doubt that there's something going on here but they uh um the news media and the Democrats, they they keep denying it, and I'm going to give you a video that's going to explain better than, than, than I uh, in, in a minute. But first, I want to show you this headline, because this gets right to the point. Again, this is the Babylon Bee, so, and, and I, I'm going to quote a couple of paragraphs from the article. So here's the headline. Democrats say it'll take a lot more than eyewitness testimony, bank records, audio, video, complete confessions for them to believe Biden did anything wrong. Um, here, as evidence of bribery and corruption by the Biden family continues to mount, Democrat lawmakers in the nation's capital have expressed heavy skepticism, saying they will need a lot more than just eyewitnesses, financial records, audio and video recordings, and admissions of guilt from parties involved for them to believe any of it. Quote, now nah, I'm not buying it, unquote, said California Congressman Eric Swalwell. Quote, if you're wanting me to believe President Biden and his family have been involved in a far-reaching money for favor scheme for years, you'll need to show me a lot more than rock-solid irrefutable evidence. If the Biden family was corrupt, I think I would have heard about it from my Chinese spy girlfriend, unquote. And this would be Bang Bang. That was her name or her nickname in case you, you forgot about that or didn't hear about it because the, the liberal media... Um, liberal media have a tendency to bury news that's embarrassing to Democrats. But Eric Swalwell, a uh, U.S. representative, he uh, he had an affair. He was sleeping with a Chinese spy, with a Chinese woman who he did not know was a, a Chinese spy, which is kind of a, a tradition in the Democratic Party. I mean, not just you know necessarily sleeping with uh, Chinese spies, but you may remember, well, again, it probably got buried, but uh, um, Donald Diane Feinstein, Diane, Diane Feinstein, the, the senator from California, she had a driver driving her car for 20 years, and the driver was a Chinese spy, spy for the Communist Party. And uh, Lord knows what conversations he, he heard in, in the car as they're driving, because everybody's got a cell phone these days, right? So she's talking on the phone probably, at least sometimes in 20 years, and he's hearing the conversations and relaying them to the Chinese Communist his party. So th there you go. That explains that. Now I want to get to this video because one of the, the key, as this evidence uh, uh, completely, uh, you know, just piles up more and more and we still have Eric Schwerin to hear from. I, I spoke about him the other day, so I won't go into that again. You can replay, you know, go through all, you should go through all of my videos all the way back for years and years if you haven't been listening to them because I know you'll benefit from them. But anyways, um, uh, he, uh, so anyways, they, as the evidence has been piling up, they keep saying their go-to uh, excuse is that 
uh, well, there's no evidence, no proof of a direct payment from uh, Joe Biden, you know, from the Chinese Communist Party to Joe Biden. Well, of course not. I mean, he, he he's not stupid. And, and that's the way these schemes work. You, you The first thing you do is you want to disguise the, the payment, but you have all, you have now $20 million and counting and going to Biden's family. Well, it's obvious that uh, well, he's if it goes to his family, then he's benefiting, too, because he's providing the, you know, I, I robbed the bank, but I gave the money to my wife. I mean, you know, I gave the, the money to my uh, my nephew or my my children or my brother. It, does, it, it doesn't change anything. It's what the, um, I, I saw an uh, interview with, uh, uh, or read an interview with uh, uh, the fo- a former head of the FBI criminal division, and he, he said it, the, the term he used was something called stream of service. In other words, if somebody says they, they need something and uh, so-and-so, you know, illegal and and the, the, uh, you know this Joe Blow is able to uh, make it happen, and then it happens. There's your proof. So, uh, well, I've gone on enough because Jonathan Turley. You probably have seen him a lot. He's on TV a lot. He's a professor of law at um, George Washington University, and he was uh, well. Here it is. I'll just let him speak. Here is Jonathan Turley. But we've heard this drumbeat recently that uh, the media is now acknowledging that, sure, Hunter Biden was selling influence and access, but it was an illusion. And there's no proof that Joe Biden got an envelope full of money or a direct deposit to his account. Therefore, there's nothing here. Democrats have constantly said, stop asking questions because you don't have that type of direct evidence of benefits. Well, that's just ridiculous. I mean, obviously, all of these payments benefit Joe Biden. It's going to the Biden family fund. You know, Joe Biden is 80 years old. He's worth at least $8 million. He's not going to spend that. People at his age, his wealth, are largely preoccupied during these days with leaving a legacy for their children, for their grandchildren. This was a great benefit in that sense. Now, you also have emails that have references to paying some of Joe Biden's bills, arranging for free offices uh, and other expenses. But even putting that aside, to say that $20 million going to his children and grandchildren wouldn't influence him uh, or benefit him is just facially ridiculous. Well, and also one trusted FBI informant, I think, did say that they wanted to avoid direct payments to Joe Biden. I mean, these people might be stupid in some ways, but they're not that stupid. I mean, you you, you exercise influence peddling, not necessarily by having a direct deposit, as you said. I mean, that's just goofy. No one thinks that. But the the idea that you have to prove like a money trail that goes, that just flies in the face of, of common sense and how these things work. That's right. Being a crook doesn't mean you're a moron. And it would take a moron to do a direct deposit into an account uh, to the Biden family or send him some Zelle transfer. It's not done. The Bidens are very good at this. They've been in the, in the influence peddling business for decades. There's been articles about not just Hunter, but the president's brother openly selling his access, according to critics. So they've been at this a long time. Hunter Biden himself told a Chinese counterpart, we're the best at this. Tell the chairman. Well, they probably are. But here's the weird thing, is that you've got this labyrinth of accounts, right? Two dozen different Chinese accounts that have no discernible purpose except to hide the money transfers going to the Biden family. And yet Democrats are demanding the one thing that is the least likely to appear. That despite that whole apparatus to transfer money, someone was giving a direct deposit slip to Joe and Jill Biden. I mean, how crazy is that? (laughs) So we have to, I think, deal with the reality that this is what influence peddling is. That's my thought for today. Thanks for stopping by. If you could subscribe, that would really be great. Share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it. But most of all, come back and see me again. We'd love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, bye.